I am super excited about this unboxing because I have been waiting months and months and months since ordering this to get it. Um, and I was going, when I did an unboxing of this, I was going to do a first impressions, just kind of really basic. Uh, I'm able to do a little bit more of an in-depth uh, first impressions because I actually had a chance to try these out at long point. Um, so that's probably a good enough hint for some people to guess what I'm talking about. But, this is a package from Sweden. And inside, is a nice little burgundy box here. And inside of the burgundy box are my coning uh, fencing gloves. And these are the five finger flexible gloves. I'm gonna take my ring off here. And so, I had a chance of wearing these uh, at long point, and the ones I was wearing were uh, certainly more broken in than these are, and there is some breaking in that has to happen. So I tried a couple of pairs on there, uh, one that was pretty much brand new like these are, uh, and they were, um, they were much like this. Uh, they were a little bit stiff, and I had to get used to, to wearing them. Um, and then I had another pair that I was able to wear that was more broken in and it's kind of like a baseball glove for people who who know baseball uh, you really have to kind of season and break in the gloves um and so i'm not really able to do it so well right now but you can see i have the articulated movement of the fingers and uh, and once they're broken in you actually have a lot more control even than that and they work really really well in terms of protecting the hands and still giving you the the maneuverability and the comfort. I will say um, my, my initial impression, so the very first thing I asked someone to do, once I put on the gloves, I put my hand out and I said, uh, please hit it, right? And they took out their fader and they started whapping my hand really hard. <clears throat> and they were doing it really hard. And my impression of what these gloves uh, really do is they don't protect you from the pain. Uh, they'll protect you from breaking the bones for the most part. Uh, and so I'll get into what, how I think that really works. Um, but you feel it. You feel every bit of that strike, except instead of it being like a, a strike on a finger and you really feel a strike on the back of the hand, it seems to disperse that energy a bit. Uh, and so it hurts a lot, but it hurts kind of your entire hand. Your entire hand feels the shock, and then you're okay. Um, now there are a few aspects of these gloves <clears throat> that, uh, I'm not entirely happy with, um, namely the protection in the sides feel okay, but I'm always a little bit worried that they aren't enough, especially in a thrust. And, uh, and I still think there's potential, especially with the right place strike to actually really injure the fingers. All of that said... Um, I think these are really great gloves. I think they're really good for um, good sparring practice. Uh, they're probably really good for tournament if you are an individual who is skilled enough to not get your hands hit a lot. Um, but if you are someone who's going to get your hands hit, uh, these could be a little bit worrisome. You probably want to get good enough to where that's not really happening all that much. Um, but yeah, it's the ability to control the individual fingers is something I'm really liking about these. Now, if I had to suggest gloves such as these, I don't know that I would, again, for an intermediate or beginner, suggest these type of gloves. I would suggest a kind of more like the, the, uh, the split hoof style where you have your uh, ring and pinky finger and your index and middle finger kind of together because that gives you enough of that control. Um, but I'm really looking forward to actually getting out there and trying these. It's kind of hard to give any kind of real full thoughts on it, even with just what I, I basically tried at long point. Uh, I really want to actually kind of get out there and use these some in practice. I need to really break them in first, though, so I'll probably spend the next couple days just really working in the leather because it really does need to be worked in a good bit. Um, and then the other thing I will note is because of the way... Uh, these gloves are designed, you, you do really have to have forearm protection as well, which a lot of people get gloves that have long forearm protection. And so now that's like an additional piece of equipment you would have to buy if you were getting these. 
Uh, so yeah, initial impression of these are, are really good with the caveats I gave, and I'm super excited to have finally gotten these. I was, you know, pretty early on in terms of pre-ordering it, but they, they've only been, uh, only recently really getting these shipped out. So I'm excited to try it. Um, I just wanted to share because this is one of the things I am very excited about getting to try. Uh, so yeah, see you later.